storm warning in effect for heavy snow. Those planning travel in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. My name is Sarah Carpenter. I am the co-owner of the American Avalanche Institute and I also work as a ski guide here in the Tetons. And a really important mountain skill that translates really well to winter travel and avalanche hazard mitigation is map reading. So reading topographic maps is a skill that gets developed over a long period of time. A few pieces to note, uh, there are different colors on this map. Green means a forested area and white means non-forested. Could be a meadow, could be above tree line. On these maps, we then have all these brown lines and these lines are called contour lines. And remember we looked on our scale to see what the contour interval. In this case, there's 40 feet between each one of these brown lines. When I'm looking at topographic maps, the closer together these lines are, the steeper the slope. The further apart, the less steep the slope. So if I'm thinking about places that I want to travel, I can look to see how close together the lines are. Great feature about this crystal card is that on the back of this crystal card, I can actually have a slope index. So I find my scale, 40 foot intervals on a 1 to 24,000 foot map, and I can line this up to match the spacing between the contour lines, I then have an idea of how steep that slope is. This gives me an idea of, am I gonna be traveling in avalanche terrain or am I not gonna be traveling in avalanche terrain? Really important in terms of planning a route. 